14 years ago, we saw Nonito Donaire capture his first world title against Victor Chinian by stealing his chin with his signature counter left hook. Four divisions and nine world titles later, and Donaire has captured yet another world title with the same punch against Nordin Ubali. So getting right into the meat and semen of the video, the story of this fight, as short as it lasted, was Donaire's counter left hook and Ubali's inability to neutralize it. And so it goes without saying that this is probably Donaire's best punch. We all know that he has very impeccable timing with this punch, but he is also very good at positioning himself to land it, and he's also very good at baiting his opponents in so that he could counter them with it. So we see as Donaire has Ubali on the ropes, he's gonna get into this position to load up for a powerful left hook. As you can see, he's leaning his head over his lead foot with his hands up, and he also has lead foot dominance over Ubali, which is he has his lead foot on the outside of Ubali's lead foot. And Donaire is not the guy you want to test his reactions because if you try to punch him while he's in this position, that left hook will slap you into another dimension. So you don't want to find yourself in this position against him. And that's exactly what happens here. So to figure out what Ubali could have done better to not get countered by the left hook and what you could do against an opponent like this, we can take a look at what another southpaw, Jesse Magdaleno, did to neutralize it. So he better be composed. The first thing is that distance is key. By keeping the fight at jabbing distance, this will force Donaire into a fight of jabs with you and will not allow him to counter over the top of your jab with a left hook because you simply won't be in range for it. Then we're going to see Magdaleno faint and Donaire responds to this by slipping to the outside and this loads him up for his counter left hook so he's looking to counter Magdaleno's jab with that left hook. Magdaleno notices this reaction, so he resets, forcing Donaire to abandon the loaded up position and limiting him to only the jab. Now you might be thinking, great, keep distance against him. That's easier said than done. What's stopping Donaire from simply walking Magdaleno down all night? A key to preventing that is lead hand control. By simply sticking out your lead hand, it does many things to give you an advantage. First of all, it measures distance. So you know if you extend your arm and can't reach your opponent, you know you're not in punching range. It also controls the empty space between you and your opponent, acting as a shield. They have to find a way around your lead hand, and if they do, you can meet them with a punch with your rear hand. It also is used to control your opponent's lead hand, pinning it momentarily so they can't punch you with it, or set up a punch of their own with it. Lead hand control has endless uses, and these are just to name a few. So with the distance confirmed, Magdaleno is going to shoot a jab, which baits out the counter left hook from Donaire, which Magdaleno is able to make fall short and give him a counter punching opportunity. He misses his counter because Donaire smartly smothers him, but the setup was perfect. We haven't seen that yet. I don't believe that. Effectively keeping your opponent at bay will allow you opportunities to set up your own offense and pick your shots. As you can see, Donaire has to abandon loading up the left hook because he won't be able to jab with Magdaleno effectively from that stance. With the threat of the hook gone, Magdaleno is able to launch an attack that Donaire is simply not ready for because he's not loaded up for the left hook. So Donaire is not able to counter. As you can see, he has no choice but to retreat. So going back to Ubali, we see a similar situation where he tries to pick his shot on Donaire but falls right onto the counter left hook. What was the difference? So it's very subtle, but as Donaire is pressuring forward, he is very slightly loaded up onto his lead foot. He's looking for the counter but isn't making it obvious by loading up heavily. The second thing is that Ubali simply went in with a naked attack. He didn't control the space to make Donaire abandon the counter and go back to boxing. He gave Donaire no reason to simply load up and just wait for him to attack so Donaire can just hit him whack-a-mole style. Here Ubali makes an effort to use lead hand control. However, unlike Magdaleno, he doesn't wait until Donaire abandons the counter hook stance before attacking. Donaire is still chambered up for his money punch and as I said earlier, Donaire is not the guy whose reactions you want to test because... 
Not only is Ubali attacking when Donaire is loaded up, he's also attacking in hooking range, so unlike Magdaleno, he will not be able to make the counter hook fall short, leading to him eating this perfectly timed counter. And so we've seen in the past from Guillermo Rigandau that you could counter someone loading up for a hook by using an uppercut. As you can see, he notices Donaire loading up for the counter left hook, so he counters him with an uppercut. The thing is, Ubali is actually aware of this strategy as well. Ubali notices Donaire set up for another lead hook, so he is going to attempt to counter with an uppercut the same way we saw Rigandau do. Except Donaire is still able to counter Ubali with the left hook, despite Ubali making the right read by trying to counter him with an uppercut there. The thing is, Ubali was smart to try and stop Donaire with an uppercut. However, Donaire proved he learned from his fight with Rigandau and is much improved now at dealing with the uppercuts. Even at the age of 38, Donaire is continuing to improve and this shows he could still win any fight in his weight class. Even a rematch with Inoue. And what I learned from Inoue is, uh, is I'm back because I know I can compete with him and I know that I got it with me. So the whole time that I was not uh, fighting, I was learning. So the whole time that I was not uh, fighting, I was learning. So the whole time that I was not uh, fighting, I was learning. As always, thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Special thanks to my patrons, including Goat Tier patron Jason Mahinen. You guys keep the channel going strong. I'll see you guys on the next one.